I want to get to the election, ours, and the one that took place over there in Britain. Britain's vote to leave the European Union, I'm going to try and draw a parallel between that vote over there and the election here. After all, Donald Trump is running very much against the establishment. Is there such a parallel? Joining us now is the man who is the driving force behind the British Leave vote. His name is Nigel Farage. He's the former UK Independence Party leader. And there he is, joining us this morning from Cleveland. Nigel, welcome to the program. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. Is there a parallel? I, I think there is, by the way. Uh, I think that your vote yeah. in Britain was anti-establishment, and I think the Trump vote here is anti-establishment. What say you? Uh, so do I. I mean, I think that our political class in Westminster, in London, uh, increasingly had just got out of touch with opinion out there in the country. And I hear echoes of that here, where, you know, Washington, the Beltway, kind of not really in touch with the way middle America, real America feels. And crucially, the reason that we got Brexit, despite the fact that almost the entire establishment told us we shouldn't do this, it would be a mistake, the sky would fall in, we'd all be poor, we'd finish up living in caves. And in the end, the reason we, won, the reason we won was because we motivated the little people. We motivated the people who have not voted in any election for the last 20 years. They've given up with the system and yet they saw with this Brexit vote they could actually change things. And I think this, I think if the Trump campaign can reach out to the disaffected blue collar workers who probably aren't voting for anybody at the moment, but if he's got a message that speaks to them, that says things can change, then I think if you get them out to vote, then I think Trump can win. Two questions. You used to lead the UK Independence Party and you left. So question number one is, what are you doing now? Number two, why are you here? Are you advising the Donald Trump campaign by any <laughs> chance, Nigel Farage? <laughs> I was a businessman. And I got into politics because I thought our entanglement with the European project was bad for democracy, bad for our country, and I wanted my country back. We forced the referendum. Without UKIP, it would never have happened. We got the referendum. We won the referendum. I think I've done my bit. Uh, why am I here? Well, I was invited, and the, a lot of people here want to know, how did you beat the establishment? How did this Brexit vote, which nobody in the Western world thought was going to happen, how did you do it? And as I say, it's a simple story. It's about motivating the little people, the ordinary people, and saying to them, you go down to that polling station, you can change history. We've, I have expressed a very strong opinion about Angela Merkel on this program here in America. My opinion is this. I think she ruined Europe. I think she changed Europe forever without asking anybody else in the European Union. Uh, am I coming on too strong, Nigel? No, you're not. Here's the irony. The European project, when it was founded back in the 1950s, was designed to contain Germany. You know, we've had, we'd, we'd had two disastrous world wars caused by the Germans, and the idea was, is that the club would contain Germany so that Germany could not become the powerful dominant force. And it is now a German-dominated Europe, uh, and whether it's the Eurozone and the miseries in the Mediterranean with youth unemployment rates running in some countries at over 50%, or what she did last July when she said, as many migrants that want to cross the Mediterranean and come to Europe, you're all welcome. And she was doing that not just on behalf of Germany, but actually on behalf of the whole of the EU. I think it was the biggest policy failure we've seen in the Western world for many, many decades. Can I ask a question about me? Um, I have recently become an American citizen. I have renounced my British original nationality. You're yeah. a very English guy. <laughs> what do you make of someone like me? Um, why would you want to do that? No, look, come on. I, mean, you know, I, happen, I happen to think that uh, if you're born English, uh, you won the greatest prize in the world, uh, and I personally wouldn't want to surrender it. Uh, but hey, this is a great country too. I asked Margaret Thatcher that question many, many, many years ago. And she said, why yeah. don't you come back? I was expecting the same response from you, but I didn't get it. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, no. You've obviously left us and you're not coming back. But if you want to, um, as an American citizen, come back to us. Um, I'm sure we'd be very generous. And very kind. <laughs> you're a good man. And I put you on the spot and I know I did. Right. Nigel Farage, welcome to America. It's one hell of a place, let me tell you. <laughs>